I'm such a fucking idiot. You all right? You don't look your best. I haven't slept all night. Cheating on Chloe. Who's the other girl? Um, her name's Ellie. You wouldn't know her. That's why I can get away with her. So what do you mean by cheating? Everything. I basically have two girlfriends at the moment. Keeping one spare just in case. Nice. So does the other one know? Uh, no. So you're cheating on her too? Yeah. Well, that's a nice little situation you got going, as long as they're both fit. I didn't even start it. I was walking down the street and Ellie couldn't stop staring at me. Maybe she's trying to cross the road. 50% of people are cheating their lives. 60% of those are men. So I'm kind of at a disadvantage, really. Where'd you hear that? Uh, Cosmo? The Washington Post reported that one in 2.7 of couples have been affected by affairs. You've really researched this, haven't you? Helps me feel better. You need to break up with one of them before the feelings get any stronger. I know. I just don't know which one. I need some time to decide which one to stay with. Chloe does live really close. Ellie has a car. Tough. So who's more... I think me and Chloe have more in common. I went to this museum with Ellie and she just didn't like it. And I went with Chloe and it was brilliant. We loved it and we had fun. You haven't been taking them on the same dates to compare them, have you? No. No. Of course not. That'd be, that'd be weird. I think I'm falling in love with you. I love you. Uh, Ditto. I, I like spending time with you too. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. True, but you're getting a lot of sex for an idiot. I think there's such a thing as too much. And sex days with a girl isn't great. Anyway, it's not about the sex. I just like them both. They're really great, they're really different. They each have different sense of humor and different taste. We each have a little different injury. <laughs> this conversation happened one, but the other one just found boring. It's actually yeah, starting as a big like what happened. Before it should be. Well, that's why people have friendships. Yeah. I didn't mean to become like this. We were just friends. Friend who I didn't tell I had a girlfriend. Should you tell everyone you have a girlfriend? How do you hide an affair when you got Facebook? It's not an affair. I just told Ellie I don't have Facebook. I changed my profile picture so she couldn't find me and then I occasionally untag myself from photos with Chloe. Shit, that's a proper affair. Do neither of them know then? I don't think so. It's been difficult. I have to keep coming with excuses why Ellie can't come out of the house. Constantly deleting texts and hiding my phone. It made me so paranoid. Once I went out with a meal with Ellie and I came back and I made myself eat another meal with Chloe just so she didn't suspect anything. I threw up on my shirt a little bit. So why are you doing it? I just don't want to not be with either of them. I thought one of them with another guy kills me. Constantly in my head. That's not fair though. What if someone did that to you? Like, how would you feel? I don't know. It's not really the same though. I mean with guys, there's direct things you can quantify and compare like height, penis size, how funny he is. It's not like I'm comparing Ellie and Chloe. It's different. But even you can't believe that. Okay, yes. But it's different, I just like in different ways. You make it sound like you've got too much love in you for one person. Are you sure you're not just focusing on their negatives to try and justify it to yourself? No. No. Well then what made you want to talk about this? Are you thinking anything in particular? You are hot. You're too nice to me. No, not really. Is everything okay? You don't just want me for my body, do you? <laughs> yes, yes, of course. Are you sure you want to be with well, me? You're not being serious, of course not. It just feels like what? you always want sex. Of course I do, it's because I like you. It just seems like you're always busy doing other stuff. I like having sex, okay? I, I've got hobbies I need to keep up with, it's good, beautiful. Yeah, but I just feel like I'm the one chasing you in this relationship. <laughs> I like that. You, you just seem really preoccupied when you're with me, like, you've always got something else on your mind. <laughs> Where did you learn that? <laughs> I'm probably just being really stupid saying all this. Oh, Chloe. What did you just say? 
Chloe. Nothing. I was really stupid. <laughs> That's such a cliche. I'll decide soon. Why does everyone think it's so unacceptable to be in love with two people? Individually, I'm being a good boyfriend to both of them. Ultimately, I mean it's relative. We can never do is measure light and sound from a specific viewpoint. From their current perspective, I'm being a good boyfriend. Why do you keep coming out of this crap? I don't know what else to say, okay? I never had one girl like me, let alone had two interests in me. I've always been insecure. It's nice having someone fancy me. I just didn't think anyone could care about me enough for me to be able to hurt them. Now you're just being self-pitying. Stop deflecting and stop wallowing. Just man up and do the right thing. Wow, poignant. Relationships can seriously mess people up. Are you being a dick? You could have backed out at any point, but you just indulged your crush. I think the best thing for you now is just to get caught by both of them and, and maybe you'll learn something. Sally. Hello. Hello. Oh, hello. You just said hello. Oh, sorry, yeah. Are you okay? How are you? Okay. Okay. Uh, sorry, I wasn't talking to you. Okay. Oh, sorry. Uh, sorry, I can't, I can't talk right now. Are you talking to me now? Oh, don't worry, carry on talking. Yeah, yeah, carry on talking. It's fine, we can talk later. Oh, no, you don't have to go now. You're gonna hear her? Well, yeah, I'm sitting right on your lap. Your lap? Uh, it's a figure of speech. What's a figure of speech? Uh, hello? Hello? Uh, she must have lost reception. Uh. How are you? Oh, brilliant. No, yeah, I'm, I'm fantastic. Sorry, I've, I've got to go. I, I'm, I'm really tired. No. Hello? Oh, sorry, wrong number. I, I thought uh, you were trying yeah, to say. Yeah, I was just trying to ring my mum. Bye. Okay. Hey. Hey. Oh, sorry. Hey, sorry, my phone ran out of battery. Oh, it's okay. I needed to have time to change anyway. Are you by yourself? <laughs> oh, David just came over to read my magazine. Which one's David? The tall one. What, you changed in front of him? No, obviously not. When did you change then? Before he came in. What's he doing? He just came in to hang out and then you rang. Why weren't you more worried about earlier? I mean, it kind of sounded quite bad. What, you want me to be more paranoid? No, I just mean, why didn't you say anything? Is there something you don't want to talk about or like feel guilty about? What? Oh, forget it. What, you think I'm cheating on you and then ringing you while I'm doing it? No, forget it. What's with you? Why are you so paranoid? Sorry, forget it. Right. Anyway, over what? the go. I don't understand. Uh, I'll talk to you tonight, okay? 